John here, guys, and today we're here at Andy's racing all the live long day on some freedom spec. And I noticed Lamon was not using his extra long antenna. When I put this on, you should you should be aware that like you're about to get fucked. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, very nice. So I asked him if I could borrow it today and see if I feel a difference between the normal stubbies that I fly out here in the field. And to my surprise, um, this is actually the Axie 533 version, but you can get the regular version or the double Axie version. And having the antenna this far above my head does feel like it's giving me a little bit more clear reception. Normally I use the stubbies. So we're going to switch back to my regular stubby and see if there's any more breakup or if it's all in my head. Um, I do like this app option right here, but if you're walking to the pits, don't forget to take your goggle off because it's going to get caught in the netting right there. But other than that, a really nice option. So for those of you that are flying um, long range, you may have a patch on the bottom and one of these on top, especially if you fly bandos or something where you might be going around each other, having this far above the giant bowl of jello that is your head and skull that could block some of those analog video signals might be a really good option. Here it is, the Axie 2 long stem. This is a nice, thick, sort of bendable plastic. So if you do find yourself looking at the ground when you fly a lot, you can actually position this to kind of make up for that a little bit or just keep it straight. That also means that it is very foldable inside your bag. Here's how it mounts onto your goggle right there. This is the wrap rapid fire module going into the sky zone 04 xv2 aka the best analog goggles on the market now you can see the length i barely can get it in frame and compared to what i had been using prior tbs triumph pro right here you can see that you get this up quite a bit above your head which does end up getting slightly clearer reception the higher you can get by this logic a ground station would be even better now this thing has 2.2 dbic of gain an axial ratio of 1.0 which is near perfect the bandwidth is 5.3 to 6.2 gigahertz and the radiation efficiency of 98 percent uh, so this should mean that you get improved range with a higher gain and a clearer signal and better rejection to interference that's basically what i was observing in this sort of informal test as you can see though this did get very good reception as well this is one of the better antenna combos i have the triumph pro down here and this is like the old triumph pro so as long as i'm taking off antennas to be able to travel i might as well have the longest possible is the difference like incredibly large is it huge is it like life-changing not really but if you're like me and getting that extra 10 to 15 percent clearer signal um, is worth spending you know just 20 bucks to be able to get one of these they also have the double axie which as yvonne says gives you double more pleasure i got two of them yeah cole's reception is going to be even better than yours no That's he's good. just going to have double more pleasure than me <laughs> for $30, uh, but this one is good enough for me. This is what I'll be using from now on for my racing. Now, of course, if you're flying a little bit longer range, you are gonna wanna have a traditional patch. This is a very portable small patch, but my favorite patch, of course, is the Vass Crosshair Extreme. But if you're mostly flying close to each other like us at the night spot do, or racing where we are not necessarily directly in front of each other, but we're also not very far. I think I'm gonna also upgrade these two up here. I may do the axes or I may do the true RC, so stay tuned for another antenna on the shark bite system very soon. What do you think guys? Can you notice the difference between these two? I think I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my own. The Axie long stem. This is the 533 edition, but we'll have the regular version and the double below. Thanks guys.
This isn't Freedom Spec. This is the full voltage. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. What are y'all smoking like today? Uh, we got some stuffed pork loin and some sausage. Ooh, man. So we got like uh, two bacon wrapped stuffed pork loins, one of them with jalapeno and cheese, and one of them with boudin inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I see we got some boudins over there that somebody brought. So we got oh, boudins man. today. Yeah. Busting out the gourmet. Oh, those are brats? Oh, no, boudins. 